Hi, I'm attorney Kevin Hazlett, and the topic is the three savvy ways not to get arrested. I'm not advocating that people should commit crimes. I'm not saying that people should go out and do things illegal, and this is how to get away with it. What I'm telling you right now is how to avoid the stupid arrests. The first way to avoid arrest is your attitude and demeanor. What I mean by that is you want to have the proper attitude when dealing with the police officers. The way you do that first is do not be cocky. Don't have a chip on your shoulder or have an attitude. Don't get into an argument and you want to make sure that the time period that you spend interacting with the police is the shortest amount as possible. The second way to avoid an arrest is to understand your rights. Under the Fourth Amendment, law enforcement, in order to conduct a search, must either have probable cause or a search warrant to conduct a search on your person, your vehicle, or your home. You need to understand that. So if you are having contact with law enforcement and they want to search your home but don't have a search warrant and they ask your consent, you have the absolute right to say no. The third thing to understand when avoiding arrest is to don't talk yourself into an arrest. A friend of mine who's a police officer once said to me, you can't catch a fish, Kevin, unless it opens its mouth. You need to understand that when you are having contact, that means when a law enforcement officer is asking you questions, most of the time you do not have any requirement to answer them. Understand your Miranda rights. You have the right to ask for an attorney. You don't have to answer questions. Don't become belligerent or argumentative and talk yourself into an arrest. Carlson Meisner Hart and Hazlett, protecting your rights since 1971.